student let us start with Bachmann rearrangement its reaction and mechanism let us see reaction first so what happened in Bachmann rearrangement so starting material that would be used in Bachmann rearrangement is oxime so first let us clear what is oxime when carbon which is attached with nitrogen with double bond when these doubly bonded nitrogen if it is attached with hydroxy group so this whole group is known as a oxime group under catalytic acidic condition by using various acidic groups or acidic reagents which is converted into the amide amide that means C double bond O NH group now one condition is there in this Bachmann rearrangement the alkyl group which is attached to Transpo transposition of the living group so here OH group which is considered as a living group and R1 group that is transposition or we can say antipositions so that would be migrated from this carbon to nitrogen so this is called 1 2 migrations or 1 2 shift so this is a kind of rearrangement now alkyl group trans to the living group migrate to the nitrogen that is there in mechanism of Bachmann rearrangement now let us see the rea uh, reagents used in Bachmann rearrangement so as I said various acidic reagents are used like sulfuric acid, thionyl chloride, phosphorus pentoxide and phosphorus pentachloride now see what is Bachmann rearrangement so it is nothing but it is a organic reactions used to convert an oxime to amide under acidic condition so this is a brief overview of the Bachmann rearrangement now let us see the mechanism how Bachmann rearrangement is occurred so if you look at the first step so it is nothing but protonation of the alcohol group forming a better living group so as I said this OH group which is considered as a poor living group so to make it easy living group so this lone pair on oxygen that is abstract the proton by from the hydronium ion so by this way it is protonated now once it is protonated then in a form of water molecule it can be removed so as I said first step is protonation of the alcohol group forming a better living group so whatever lone pair is available with oxygen accept the proton and this water molecule is removed then next step is R group that is trans to the living group migrate to the nitrogen so that means this alkyl group that is transfer from this carbon to nitrogen at the same time this water molecule is removed this is called 1 2 shift because of this is carbon number 1 nitrogen is considered as a second atom so alkyl group that is migrated from carbon number 1 to second atom that is a nitrogen hence it is called 1 2 shift so same thing is written here alkyl group trans to the living group migrate to the nitrogen and this water molecule is removed then after what happened carbocation formation and the release of the water molecule so carbocation formation uh, water molecule is released and carbocation formation is taking place now whatever lone pair that is available with oxygen again attack at this carbon and this pi electron again shifted at here to stabilize this positive charge so again water molecule oxygen from water molecule abstract this proton and stabilize this positive charge so by this way lone pair is coming and again hydronium ion is generated now next step is whatever lone pair that is available with nitrogen atom that is abstract the proton from hydronium ion and stabilize the hydronium ion and water molecule is removed and fourth step is deprotonation and tautomerization result in the final amide product so deprotonation that means uh, here what happened uh, lone pair that is available with oxygen that is shifted at here and whatever pi electron is there that is again shifted at here and that is positive uh, that is stabilized this positive charge 
so this is nothing but we can say structure like oxyme so again tautomerism is taking place so this is a whole mechanism of tautomerism again i am repeating lone pair on oxygen shifted at here and this pi electron shifted on nitrogen to stabilize the positive charge and again water molecule that is releasing from here accept this proton and stabilize this positive charge that is available on oxygen as we uh, study in very basic of organic chemistry that positive charge on most electronegative atom that is again a very unstable moiety so for stabilization purpose this proton is removed and this positive charge is stabilized by this way amide is formed and hydronium ion is generated this is all about Pacman rearrangement and this is a reference from where it is taken thank you it is my humble request to all the students subscribe my channel for such kind of informative videos that is related on pharmaceutical chemistry thank you